All right. Well, thank you for being here today uh, for our midweek Lent devotion times on more love. And one of the things uh, I see is that uh, we might be having some technical difficulties. And if we do, I apologize for that. And I will try to record this, re-record this and post it later. Um, But uh, if you're having issues or things aren't working right, uh, just leave a comment uh, just so that I know for sure uh, if we're we're doing all right or if we are indeed having some internet issues um, on our end. So one of the things that uh, I wanted to start off, as I mentioned in worship, is that we... Uh, are obviously in the season of Lent. Today is our first midweek Lent, and as I was thinking about doing something like this, the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, you know, what what are some things that we need in our lives right now? What do we need in our world right now? And uh, the the word love and more love came to my mind, and so uh, so that is where I came up with this theme of more love. And the first thing that popped into my head is uh this song more love more power and uh so i listened to it i love it it's a song that i've heard before and uh so i looked it up and i found uh multiple scripture readings that are related to this song and i thought it'd be wonderful for all of us to kind of work our way through these scripture readings together during our devotional time together and then we can uh, just take a look at them and, and relate it to the, the song, relate it to our lives. And so that's what we're going to be doing each Wednesday in Lent. And good to see you, uh, Cindy, for being here today. So one of the, the scripture readings that uh, is associated with this song is the one that we just heard Uh, this last Sunday in worship at Grace, and that is the story about uh, loving your neighbor, about the the story of the Good Samaritan, which is, uh, it's such a well-known story, and yet for some reason is only found in the Gospel of Luke. But the the part that leads up to that is the part that actually um, is in all three Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, uh, called the Synoptic Gospels. And that is the one uh, that is about, uh, you know, what must I do to gain or inherit eternal life? And Jesus talks and responds to that. And in Luke, he, uh, Jesus asked the question back to, um, uh, back to the, the lawyer, but in uh, Matthew and Mark, Jesus is the one who answers uh, that. And so if we take a look here, uh, you know, Jesus has silenced the people. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And so again, we find it in Matthew 22, in Mark 12, and in Luke chapter 10. And, you know, what a better way to start off this idea of more love uh, based on, you know, again, that song, more love, more power, you know, more love, more power, more of you in my life than to talk about what Jesus thinks is the most important uh, commandment in the Bible. And that is to, to love God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. And if we think about that, you know, with all of our heart, soul, and mind, then we are talking about our whole being of who we are. You know, our heart, the thing that gives us life, that pumps, uh, you know, the blood to cause us to breathe and to move and to do things. And then with all of our soul 
and with all of our mind, the thing that causes us to think and to speak and to uh, tell our body the different things to act out. And so it is our whole body that should love God. And then we should love our neighbor as ourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And one of the things that I wanted to just mention but not dig into today is that these two uh, commandments, loving God and then loving neighbor, come from uh, Deuteronomy 6 and Leviticus 19. And we'll actually talk about that next week because obviously those are more passages related to uh, this song about more love, more power, more of you in my life. Uh, you know, wonderful lyrics. And what, one of the things that I love about that is, uh, is it's so, such a brief song in terms of the actual words that it's easy to remember. And so, uh, you know, the easier things to remember, the, easy, the easier they are uh, to just constantly keep at the forefront of our minds. And I think that's exactly what Jesus is getting at when he answers this lawyer about this question that you shall love God with all your heart, soul, mind. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, we hear the word strength put in there as well. And that you should love your neighbor as yourself. And if we love God that much, and then that love that God has for us is then reflected into the world, then we then will love our neighbors in a similar fashion. Uh, so again, I think it's great that we talked about this parable of the Good Samaritan and the Greatest Commandment on Sunday. Just at 30, 40 minutes ago, I was in a class for our Wednesday Bible study in which we are talking about serving neighbor. And that is one of the, the greatest things that we can do as a response to the love that we were first given by God through Jesus Christ. And so when we are given that, that love and that care uh, by God, then our response as we live that out is to then love uh, our neighbors. And it actually becomes a joy to love our neighbors. And the more that we do that, the more... Uh, loving, we re realize how uh, God is towards us. And it's just this beautiful cyclical nature. And one of the things that uh, I told my daughter recently was, you know, one of the few things that we can do in this life, in our world, uh, in which something that we give away, uh, that when we give it away, there's more of it. You know, it's not money. It's not you know, our, our cookies, you know, you give away six of your cookies, you only have six left out of the dozen you had. But the more that we give out love, the more it flows, you know, which reminds me of Psalm 23, you know, my cup overflows. It, and it, it's not about holding it in. It's not about keeping that gift for ourselves, but about spreading that love all around, which is why I love the ELCA's, um, tagline, which we again also talked about a little bit ago, uh, is God's work, our hands. You know, the work of God is to love and to spread love and to let people know that they are loved by the God who created them. And God loves us. And so we are the hands, the hands, the feet, the voice that share that love with the world. And so the people that we touch, the people that we communicate with, the people that we serve, uh, you know, through feeding, through helping them, uh, through reaching them where they are, that is sharing God's love. And that is sharing uh, our understanding that God loves us too. So God loves me. And because God loves me, I love my neighbor. And because I love my neighbor, then maybe my neighbor will see that love. And if, you know, at the very least, then they at least know that somebody loves them. Even if they can't understand uh, God or 
realize how much God loves them. Then they at least know that their neighbor loves them. Uh, so it is a call, as Martin Luther points out, it is a call to service that we are called to, to serve our neighbor, not as a way to justify ourselves, not as a way to, to earn that love, but as a response of the greatest gift that we could ever receive and as a response to the life that Jesus has lived. And so as we think about the ways in which God loves us, as we think about the ways in which Jesus lived out his life, a life that was full of service towards others, healing and teaching and loving people, then we ourselves see that those are the things that we have been called to do as a response to the greatest gift that was first given us. And the more that we do that, the more that we spread love and the more uh, that we see God's power at work in this world. And that the more that we do it, the more that we want to do it. The more that we realize how much God loves all the people of this world. And then the more love there is in this world. Again, it is something that just keeps growing. It's not something that diminishes the more that we give it away. So more love. And the, the greatest way that we can live out that love is by loving God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of our mind. And then to take all of that love that we have for God and share it with our neighbor. Thank you for joining me today. I am sorry if there were technical difficulties today. I'm going to try to fix that for next week, and I'll, I'll post this video as a separate one if that's the case. Uh, it, I don't know. It looks like it crashed on my end. But uh, blessings to you. Uh, join me again next week. We'll, we'll work out the kinks. Uh, God bless, and thanks for joining me.